I pay 40 British pounds for this mini PC and it's not the most powerful on the planet. It has an Intel Celeron J4105, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD. Now I didn't purchase this one to run it as a computer. All I did I to purchase it to see if I can run Jellyfin on it, which is my main thing to watch my movies. Now running Jellyfin on this one probably is going to be a little bit too much to ask, but I'm going to use Unraid. From my experience it's the easiest one to use and it's the fastest one when it comes to processing and things like this. It doesn't take a lot of resources and we're going to see how the jellyfin runs on this little device if it is worth for you to purchase it so stay tuned so how i said this is unraid the one what we have and if i go into shares here i can see i'm not shares my sorry i can see the external hard drive so i have two terabyte of hard drive here and another two terabyte of hard drive they are both external hard drives so like this we can expand our storage and 256 gigabytes of ssd the one that comes with the device itself now how you know on raid uses a flash drive to to boot so you don't have to install it on the external on the internal storage so this is the hard drive that i have here installed and i already have a share created so this is on raid this is how i called my my name and then when i go into share i can literally just connect to unraid which i don't have for some reason so we're going to go here connected and this is the ip address that we have here we're going to connect to unraid and how you can see we have here all of our files so if i want i can copy files from my desktop to my server and things like this so you can run it as a share right it's perfect to make a share in your own house and like this you can share it and give access to your family and friends etc now the main issue that i i have with this device and it's the main reason why i purchase it is to see if jellyfin runs perfectly on it and i will say yes and no depending what kind of person you are now if you're looking to run a 4k movie that's not gonna happen but if you're looking to run like a 1080p movies yeah they will work perfectly so how you can see here i got spider-man and suzume and if we go into settings here i have um, playback transcoding i have intel because it's an intel processor but you can also put it to none now if you do put it to none you will have a better experience from my testing that i did with this device and for example if i go on spider-man 2 here and i click on play it will take a little bit to load and don't get me wrong wait that little bit it's a little bit how you can see the cpu here is going a little bit crazy so it's it just pushes the processor to the maximum because it's not made for this kind of thing but at the end of the day it will still work so you give jellyfin a little bit of time you will wait a little bit and eventually the movie will start once the movie started i didn't have any problems and again it didn't stop anymore it didn't do any single thing and let me just move this one from here and how you can see now the movie started and we can really watch the movie we don't have any problems and i can literally go here and how you can see in the playback it's a direct stream so it doesn't have any problem taking a movie 1080p now 4k it does have a problem from my experience it didn't start at all i didn't manage to start suzume which this one it is a 4k movie how you can see here so 20 uh 2060p now the moment i start i click on play on this one and you can see the processor is going crazy all over the place they're all kind of numbers it doesn't go to maximum and stay there but it will just randomly move left and right now again how i said i'm not using transcoding because transcoding it will create more problems this processor is not powerful enough so it will be better to just stay with you know direct play the thing is that 4k movies there's no chances of you watching on this little device and this is why i'm making this video short video just to show you guys that if you're happy with the 1080p a little device like this would be more than perfect for you guys yeah it's a celeron don't get me wrong it's a really really low-end device but if you're just starting and you just need a media server for you to just run and things like this in the house and this is the first time having experiments and stuff like this with this little pc it will do the job it will be perfect and especially for the price yeah like this you know i use it for multiple things i install linux on it and i'm learning to use linux better and things like this and i do believe it's a really good offer for the price that you're having so how you can see here doesn't matter how much i'm waiting that 4k movie is never gonna start on this on this pc what can you do 
it's it's a low end PC. This processor is not powerful enough. But yeah, this is why I'm making this video so you guys can have an idea that a little processor like this one, 40 British pounds, maybe you can get it cheaper a little bit. I don't know. I got it from uh, from a shop here in in, uh, in UK where I'm living. But something like this, you can you know make your own media server and things like this. And how I said, I have my home a smartphone on it and I have app cast and I also have tail scale so I can access it you know worldwide and yeah it will just work I don't have any problems especially with the shares I can access my files from all over the world using tail scale and I can watch my movies at home using jellyfin no problem for 40 quid and I believe this is a good investment but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know because this is I never saw a video made with this processor and this is why I was curious to purchase it. I really wanted to know if it's powerful enough to do something with it as a server or not. In my opinion, for 1080p movies and a little share in the house and things like this, it's perfect. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.